woman marries a man and it goes wrong, she has emotional heartbreak, fine. But if it, a man marries a woman and it goes wrong, he has emotional heartbreak. Plus, everything he has ever worked for is ripped out from underneath him, and he has to give that chick money forever. There's no scenario where your wife should cheat, and she still gets alimony. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, your wife can cheat. You divorce her. She's going to get the alimony. So she cheats, hurts you. You divorce her because she's not loyal, right? And then she goes to court. And then you lose again for the alimony. So you have to pay her for cheating. In the modern dating world, it's crucial for both partners to share financial responsibilities equally. Gone are the days when men were expected to foot the bill for everything while women sat back and enjoyed the ride. Now, men are encouraged to contribute equally to household chores and upkeep, while women are expected to pitch in with yard work, vehicle maintenance, and covering their own expenses like food, clothing, makeup, and feminine products. This equality should be upheld regardless of circumstances, such as illness or pregnancy. Even when children come into the picture, both partners should be ready to split childcare costs evenly. And after all the bills are paid, any leftover income should be kept individually. This approach reflects the principles of equality and partnership that are often preached by modern feminism, or so they say. In the past, marriage was often treated like a business deal, with men being held to a high standard of financial responsibility while women were let off the hook. But thankfully, those days are behind us. Today, men and women are told they're equals with shared responsibilities in a relationship. This change has also impacted divorce proceedings. In the past, divorce for men often meant a financial hit or, in cases of abusive behavior, social ostracization. However, with the rise of no-fault divorce influenced by feminism, the game has changed. Now, men who have been raised to believe in gender equality find themselves grappling with issues like child support, alimony, and custody battles. It's a confusing landscape to navigate, especially in a society that claims to promote gender equality. These new dynamics require a fresh perspective and a re-evaluation of traditional roles and expectations. Here's a different perspective. Marriage, especially in terms of maintaining a relationship with a woman, can be a costly commitment. When you compare it to an encounter with an escort, the financial transaction involved is clear and honest. There's no pretense of love or emotional attachment. It's a straightforward exchange where money is traded for a specific service. Both parties understand their roles, and there's no deception. Essentially, you pay for what you want without the need for elaborate scenarios that consume your time, energy, and resources. From a financial standpoint, hiring a professional from time to time as needed can be much more cost-effective. In marriage, you commit not just your resources, but also your life and emotional well-being, with no guarantee of a lifelong relationship. In the unfortunate event of a divorce, you might lose a significant portion of your assets. It's a harsh reality of our modern world. If I were a young man today, I'd seriously consider not rushing into marriage. Instead, I'd focus on enjoying life, reaping the rewards of my efforts, and engaging in fulfilling relationships as they come. It's unfortunate, but our society has evolved to this point. The truth is, there's no such thing as free physical intimacy between a man and a woman. There's always a cost involved, one way or another. Interestingly, data suggests that men who opt for singlehood and engage in physical relationships with career-focused women while shouldering fewer financial responsibilities often experience more satisfying and less tumultuous relationships compared to those in traditional marriages. In essence, they're getting what they pay for, and it's a rational decision. It's important to note that those who criticize men for seeking professional services are often the same people who judge those uninterested in having children. Life can be simplified and enriched with professional assistance, offering more time, financial stability, and emotional contentment. While forming meaningful connections and friendships remains crucial, it's worth acknowledging that marriage has adapted to our current societal norms, systems, and laws, which often favor women. Women, influenced by societal pressures, 
prioritize their pleasure in intimate encounters, and often share stories among friends, including critiques or complaints about their partner's performance. In terms of dating costs, traditional dating can be expensive, with societal expectations often dictating that men spend significantly on first dates to demonstrate financial stability and commitment. Falling short in this regard can lead to being deemed practically worthless. On the other hand, engaging professionals provides a more predictable and cost-effective way to fulfill physical needs without the financial uncertainties of dating. It simplifies the transaction. Many women are oblivious to the challenges of dating. For most men, it's a nightmare. They often go broke trying to please women, covering costs, planning meticulously, and dealing with emotional baggage and irrational behavior. Men take on all these burdens while women simply look cute. What do they offer in return? Often a difficult attitude, lack of submissiveness, selfishness, colorful hair, and a trail of ex-partners with children. If any women are watching, here's a thought. If you're kind, don't have tattoos, and aren't promiscuous, then even with average looks, you probably would have found a partner by now. But since you're still single, maybe it's karma for rejecting all those good guys in the past for the bad boys. Now you're left wondering, where are all the nice guys? Well, they're probably happily settled down with women who appreciated them from the start. The dating scene in the West has become quite challenging, and some argue that it's because the odds are heavily stacked in favor of women, without much balance. They suggest that legalizing professional intimacy services could be a game changer. If these services were more accepted, women might feel compelled to improve their behavior to attract and keep partners. In such a scenario, platforms like OnlyFans might not have gained the popularity they did. Feminist movements might also find themselves losing influence, with both men and women possibly tuning them out. Even the adult film industry might see a decline in demand. Countries where professional intimacy services are legal don't seem to have major complaints about their dating scenes. It's possible that if women couldn't easily find a decent partner, they might rethink the implications of no-fault divorce and divorce settlements that often favor women. The traditional model of marriage and divorce worked for many, but the current system seems to be eroding long-term relationships. For women, marriage often appears as a low-risk, high-reward scenario. However, for men, it can feel like a risky gamble where the stakes are high. Nowadays, finding a reliable car for purchase is challenging. Opting to rent a vehicle, enjoy its benefits, and then return it might be a more sensible choice. It provides comfort, low mileage, and appealing aesthetics. Just remember, it's a rental, and there are numerous other options to consider before making a commitment. Leasing for an extended period might be more logical since, per the terms and conditions, true ownership is never attained. Why would a man choose marriage when there's a substantial risk of a no-fault divorce, potentially resulting in the loss of everything they've diligently worked for over the past few decades? Men may steer clear of marriage due to the fear that, regardless of the circumstances of their relationship, the legal system could unfairly label them as at fault and penalize them accordingly. Some men may have discovered that they can lead more tranquil lives without the complications of marriage. They might feel little motivation to return home to a partner who might not be there and who may constantly express dissatisfaction and grievances. And that's it for today on Sigma Traits. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Support this channel through membership. You can also support through PayPal link in the description. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you all tomorrow.